Hey everybody, Mark Dawes here, and just to let you know, the Alternative Injection Site training course is now live, and if you want to purchase it, there is a link below this particular video where you can actually click on, and you can actually go and purchase the course, and we're giving a huge 50% discount off if you want to do it. So it's £125 plus VAT, and if you put this discount code in, which is 50 dash off all in capital letters in the promo box then you'll get a 50 percent reduction on the price of this course now i just want to cover a few points on the, on the importance of doing this course and you've seen a load of stuff that we put out recently but let me show you some reasons why this is really important now this is positive and proactive care this was a department of health guidance document issued in april 2014 and it states quite clearly there must be no planned or intentional restraint of a person in a prone face down position on any surface, not just the floor. Now, this document is a guidance document issued by the Department of Health, but you've got to have cogent reasons for not complying with it. So in other words, if you're going to do this, if you're going to put people face down on the floor, um, you've got to have very good reasons for it. So you need to comply with this. It's seen as best practice. And if you're planning to take people down to inject them, that breaches this document. This is the Mental Health Act Code of Practice 1983, first published in 2015. And this states quite clearly, where rapid tranquilization in the form of an intramuscular injection is needed, the person prescribing the injection should state the preferred injection site, having taken full account of the need to avoid prone restraint, where the person is forcibly laid on their front. So yet again, another piece of, of uh, legislation here another piece of guidance is saying don't do it you've got to avoid prone so that's two bits of legislation so far now let's look at the human rights act now the joint committee on human rights the house of lords and house of commons joint committee who reported on deaths in custody as way back as 2003 2004 said restraint in the prone position has been particularly controversial because of the dangers it carries to the patient and it has been implicated in a number of deaths reliance on prone restraint is a matter of concern for compliance with article 2 given the known dangers of this position, evidenced by previous deaths. And we emphasize that Article 2 requires that patients and detainees should not be placed at risk by the use of this position unless absolutely necessary to avert a greater risk to themselves or others. And absolutely necessary is a limited provision. That means that you've got to take all positive steps, all proactive and positive steps to find reasons not to put people in prone and then if all of those reasons are exhausted and there is no other way which you must evidence then and only then can you use this risky technique and that's the important thing to understand it can't be a primary method of intervention now just to inject someone in the rear and if you once again let me just show you a quick look around this site so when you purchase the site you get login details you'll come into here you'll see me once again apologies for that but then you get into the bulk of the course here which is all the videos, it's a video based course with an example of even how to inject in the deltoid area and all this here is the evidence as to why you should be using alternative injection sites and there's stuff in there from the World Health Organization and Powell's gone to a great amount of depth in this to give you all these alternatives so there you have it okay just to clarify this product will help you comply with the Department of Health guidance it will help you comply with the Mental Health Act Code of Practice. It will help you comply with the Human Rights Act, particularly Article 2 and the recommendations by the Joint House of Lords and House of Commons Committee on Human Rights. It's going to help you avoid a potential corporate manslaughter charge and breaches of negligence and any civil claims for damages against you. So if you want this product, it's live now. It's £125 plus VAT. But if you put in this promo code that's appearing on your screen now, it will automatically discount that down by 50% for you. And for those of you who are NFPS instructors and you are currently in date with us, if you want a better discount, send me an email and I'll send you another code. This is only for NFPS instructors, so those of you that we have trained and who are currently in date, and we'll even take a further discount off that for you. Thanks ever so much. Enjoy the course. And I genuinely hope you actually invest in this because this is a great tool to have in your toolbox of, of resources and skills and competencies as a PMBA trainer and it's appropriate for healthcare staff, nursing staff, anyone really, anyone that's involved with this activity should, should most definitely access this course. Thanks so much, have a great day.